And there we are. We are live. Tabletop Commanders live play. Another pollution. I think this is our fourth one, Ian, isn't it? A live play? Yeah, I think it. Yeah, I think it is. Well, this is part one. As you guys know, that usually means Sharnhorst. Uh, the actual battle will be tomorrow. We'll start that up around the same time. Maybe a little earlier than this. Uh, and that'll be set up and so on and so forth based on today's gameplay, which is, again, Sharnhorst. Let me show you guys the map. Now, bear with me. Sometimes this camera goes in and out. In of, uh, focus. It's not the best today, but there you are. That's the Eastern Europe Map 6. And Lucian rules. That's the one we're using for this. This, of course, is 1812. France has invaded Russia. Not yet at Moscow, but it's closing in. It's a pretty big battle. By Blucher standards, we're dealing with 345-point armies using single-based uh, units. And I'll show you what one of those looks like in 10 mil. That's basically the size of it right there. Those will be our units in the actual gameplay tomorrow. I think they'll show up pretty good. Battlefield's actually going to be a three foot by four foot table. We'll be using four centimeter base widths. Fight the battle. Uh, again, this is a multiplayer game, which means we got a whole bunch of people here today, or tomorrow, I'm sure, to fight the game. Representing the French, we have Napoleon, which is controlled by. Our good friend Richard, who's not with us at the moment, who left out uh, command of the French forces, uh, James, who's playing Davu. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> In the actual battle. And Getting this, a character? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, whoopsie, and big girl's blouse. <laughs> we'll be supported by... Uh, Drill, which is played by Michael. Yay! That's me. Give that <laughs> man a her umph. <laughs> these oh. guys, of course, are personalities from the Blue Shirt game, and they'll be represented on the tabletop if and when they are brought into play. Uh, opposing them is the Russians, Kudasov once again. Uh, that's controlled by Bob. Kudasov! Uh, and <laughs> he'll also be supported by a couple subordinate commanders, one of which is played by Ian. That's Ditoli himself. Right? That's it, Comrade Ditoli, reporting for duty, sir. And Vince. Vince, the Canadian bear, who's not with us today, but who will be. Uh, he's going to be playing Rayevsky. Commander Rayevsky. Uh, yeah, we'll see how good these guys play in the game. Uh, What's that mean? We shall see. But it should be a fun game. We're going to jump into this. And right as you can see, uh, that's the map we're playing on. We've got both armies organized into columns, and recon forces have been distributed. And the first thing we're going to do on day one is we're going to determine which side has intelligence. Both sides roll a d6 and add their recon values. So go ahead and roll your d6. First of all, tell me your recon value, Bob. Five. All right. James, what is your recon value? Four. All right. Each of you gentlemen are going to roll D6 and add that to your totals. Five. I got, if I can get my thing over there, where is that? Hey. Uh, six. Whoa. I got a five. Hi. All right, you're both going to roll another D6. Michael, you got a dice handy. 
Well, hold on, oh. hold on. No, no, hold on a second. My total was six. Oh. Uh, you rolled a one or two? Yeah. Two. All right. Oh, that's so, different then. The Russians won. The Russians have intelligence for the remainder of the campaign. They will decide what edge to, to move on to from. Uh, and they'll also decide who goes first in every campaign turn, which is a day. Five days max. Excellent. Um, pick your edge. Put us off. I would like to, what? I would like to come on from the east, please. Now, as each of those dice represents a column, which is a number of troops, at least one brigade of troops, uh, as many as 10. But let's see what happens first. We're going to start off the first day uh, declaring any battles there is none. Now, you're going to go right into movement, Bob. Now, do you want the French to move first, or would you like to come on to the board first? I'd like to come on first, please. All right, each column has three movement points in the first day. So go ahead and spend them. I want Callum to come on. Russians coming from the east. Isn't that a little predictable? <laughs> you had to expect it, didn't you? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm like one pound, come on. At C8, please. First column? Yes, C8. Frajani. All right, that costs you two. Move at once. <laughs> You've captured it. Are you done? You're done. No. I want I have one point left, right? Yeah, but there's nowhere else to move. Nobody else can come on, right? No, it goes to the French. They'll pick one column and move it on the same way. Stand by. Uh, we are figuring out. Uh, let's see. Hey, I just, Michael, I sent you something. What do you think? Um, uh, uh, oh, um, should we uh, come on uh, with, uh, ooh, uh, how about C, uh, can we go to C2? With uh, column one. Uh, oh, no. oh, is that where we're starting off? Oh, hang on. Yeah. Hold on a Did you read my thing? Uh, hold on. Your thing there. Oh, you just sent me something. Yeah, I just said just something. Uh, column C2. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Predictable, wrenching chaos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's all written here. I've just not looked to me orders. <laughs> yes, that, yes. As we, as we planned, yes, good idea. Uh, yeah, column one to C2, please. One, two. This will cost you four to go in here. Oh, okay. Uh, then that, C1. Hey, Russians. Um, let me bring a column on at D8. Which column? D8. Which column? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Number two. Now that cost you one movement point. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'd, like, I'd like to advance him one to D7. And D6, Bob. I mean, yeah, D. D. 
That's it. Yeah. One, two, yeah. three. That's it. And that's three. That's three points, right? Yep. All right, French, pick a column. Uh, Mike, I sent you another message. Uh, we're looking at, let's do the easy one. Let's do column, uh, damn it, wrong window. Uh, column four, correction, column two to echo two. Can't do it. Oh, you should count on the road. That's two points. You can go here and you get three if you want. Yes or no? Uh, uh, yeah, push it. Russians? Well, I might have a fact here. You ready, Bob? Like he's gone. And for our viewers out there, just so you know, these little points here, they're marked with little villages or towns, are worth victory points. I've written them in in red, their value. And this is really what the armies are trying to control by moving into uh, to gain an advantage going into the battle. Side with most victory points going into the battle will win the battle if uh, the battle goes the distance. In other words, the armies don't break before that point. And as a reminder, Napoleon and Kutasov are legends, which means their break points are doubled. So these guys really last on the battlefield. It could be a long, bloody fight, folks. Um. You just pick a column and... I know, hold on a minute. Okay, bye. <laughs> Bob's playing Kudasov today. The, um... Uh, um... The number on the dice is the number of my actual columns in my in my force, right? Yes. Okay. I would like to Advance the third column. Can I advance when it's already on there, or do I need to bring another one on? You can only move once per day. Okay. In that case, I want to bring on. Number six. No, what have you got for, Bob? Wait, do what? We've only got four. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, bring number four on at B8. What do you think, Neil? Yeah. Um, A8, actually. Number four? Yeah. 
if it's what it should be, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Okay, yeah. That's the, um... That's as far as you can go, so that's, that's, that's the, that, the goal's good. Hold on a minute, just let me... I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this. Looks all right, Bob. When you're ready. I thought I had it all figured out. Guys are in communication with each other in a chat. Crap. When you hear that tapping away, that's what's going on. Secret communications. Always a fun aspect of the games. How you doing, Neil? Neil's in the chat. When you're ready, Bob, just say. <clears throat> I'm, I'm lost here. Right, no. Yeah, it's all right. But what, what what's happening, Curtis, is that I think Bob's getting confused with a recon. Um, yeah. Is is what he's thinking is that recon is in a column. I've just told him that no, the recon was simply used to gain the map edge and and the initiative. They're not anywhere on this map. They will appear on the battlefield at some point, but they're not on this map. I want to put. Yeah, I got it. I want to put. Column four, please. Yeah, he's doing it. That's right. He can't move any further. That's right. Yeah, that's where I want him at. Column four. Yeah. Eight. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Okay. Okay. I, I, my scribbles are, I can't read my own writing. <laughs> Over to the French. You have column three and column four waiting to come on from the West. Chingao. Okay, our next move uh, is column. I got to find out where I made our notes. Column three to alpha one. Two points. You are done. The Russians. <clears throat> I had some little fiddly wings like you have. Fiddly wings? Yeah, those little. Tokens you have down there on those tiddly wings? Poker chips? Oh, that your poker chips? Nice. Yeah. Tiddly wink is, right? Yep. Yeah, I've got some. I'll have to grab them out. I like that where you got that mark. Okay, uh, Kudasov. You got one more column. Column three. Where do you want to make the run? Three moving forwards. I want three. To come on at D seven. Yep, that's it. All right, French. Fourth column. Uh... Yeah, we'll go column uh, four to echo two. All right, you're good. And that's the first day. One turn is complete. There's five in all. Uh, starting with the second day, you're going to have six movement points for every column, so keep that in mind. And the first thing we're going to do is declare any battles. There's really nothing that can be declared, so we're going to go right into movement. Now, the side with intelligence, which is the Russians, will determine who goes first for movement. You there, Bob? Yeah, I'm looking at a chat here. 
take your time. <clears throat> okay. I would like to move column two Ooh. to E5. Ooh. E5? Yes. One. Oh, no, yeah, one, two. You want to keep moving? Yep. No, nope. good. Yeah, that's good. All right, it goes to the French. Michael, I sent you a message. Yeah, I got it. Oh. What the heck's going on with my thing? What do you think about that? Uh, interesting. Um, hmm. Well, here, let me, I'll type it out. Yeah, I see. Okay. Andrea, just do that. We can talk about the other one later. I right, yeah, I think you're watching. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll do call. Call. Column three to alpha three. Column three to alpha three? Correct. You have two points remaining. So cost, this will take you over six. You could go down here. You have two points left. Yeah, I'll just uh, hold there. All right. Russians? I would like to move column three. Column three? And move that to D5. Um, D5? Or D5? D5. One. Two, three, four. That's it. Good. Yeah. All right, French. Pick a column. Column three is moved. And you move number three up to that. Okay. Timer out. <laughs> don't, make, don't make me bring it out. <laughs> now nah, you take your time.
Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Michael, but I'm kind of wondering. Three hundred and forty five point armies. It'll be nasty. Three victory points for the Russians, two for the French. Where's, uh, where's our second one coming from? Yeah, I was wondering that. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong marker. It's four to the Russians. Yep. Sorry, good thing I said something. It's all right, I'm keeping school. Yeah. Order one. I'm thinking of, uh, hmm. What do you think about that, Michael? That'll be interesting. Should I go for it? It's a gamble. Oh, I say no. That's this. Uh, <laughs> let's do what we planned to do originally. Yeah. Or oh, did plan to do originally? It went out the window. Are you um, guys? In, are you guys in talk? Well, not you? not quite originally, but um, no, just a moment ago. <laughs> oh, before. Okay, I gotta go back. Uh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, I can't. Yeah, you tell you tell Michael because I can't remember what we said. Um, right. Uh, have we moved column four? Column three is the only one to move. <coughs> column three is the last one to move. Okay. Just, just go forward one, please. To uh, A four. Oh, you keep. You're still moving him. Yeah. No. No. Oh, no, he can't move forward. He can't. He can't because it costs three additional points to cross, and he's only got two, so he oh. can't he can't move past that. That's as far as he can go. It's a minor river he has to cross. It's an additional point. <laughs> that's that's why I stopped. Oh, okay. That, All which right. is what I, I was talking about with the other stuff was because he can't move anymore. Then let let bring. Let's bring column one up then. Yeah. Just bring it in line, or or push it. No, let's 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 bring it in line with the others if we can. 
Yeah. Okay, it's going to Charlie. I guess that's Charlie three then. One, two, three, four. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. So we've we've got another objective, yeah? Yep. Oh yeah, you do. Why not? Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, Russians. I'd like to take column one. All right. Move it to C5. C5? Yes, please. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, then column four to delta three. One, two, three, four. All right, Russians. Column four is far west as it can go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Column two, I believe. French. I think that's a... Uh Is that right, Michael? Um, oh. Okay, then. Is that kind of what we're thinking? Well, yeah, it could be. Yeah, could be. We got Hasdrubal and Robert DeAngelis in the chat. Hardcore Lucia players. Follow their blogs. All I'm talking about. <laughs> Just a reminder, our French players are a little short-handed on our command here. The main player, Napoleon Richard, hasn't showed up yet. And James and Michael here are taking over. Sub-commanders in the French army. Drew and Davu. Go ahead, French. Column number two. What do you got in mind? Have we gone to a, a yeah, pig in Bordello in Paris or what? <laughs> <laughs> Battle lines are being drawn. Mm. Oh, you guys are matching, squaring off here.
The score is five to two, I believe, in favor of the Russians. Did I get that right, Ian? Yep, yeah, I two at the moment. The most they can get is four at the moment. Belladar. Nice juicy talent up here to grab. Mm. Yeah, everything else is under somebody's control. That's the only one on the left at the moment. <laughs> uh. Number two. Now keep in mind that moving out of a zone of control of an enemy costs an extra movement point. You can also scout, you have that option, if you're adjacent to an enemy column. And possibly overrun or weaken. You have that superiority going four to one plus. Hello. Oh, shit, by the bell. Oh, my God, I guess. <laughs> Oh, the cross-ons must have been delivered late. They can't move. <laughs> you got that time going? Yeah, I think you're going to have to use some of it. will be our midnight. I think we've decided, haven't we, James? Yeah, sorry, I was on the phone. Yeah, we'll hold column two. All right. All right. We're going to okay. move the holding position. All right, we're going to go right. the next day's events. Yeah. Day three. Intelligence is held right. by the Russians. Um, first of all, declaration of battle. There's nobody that's adjacent, so it's not an issue here at the moment. So, Russians, you have intelligence? Who do you want to go first? Hang on. I'll be just discussing it after all that length of time. <laughs> Both armies are being pretty cautious here. Third day of campaigning. Russians gained intelligence. They had superior recon score. Uh, their dice roll was pretty good, and the French was horrible, which made it even worse. Yeah, um, I would like. I could have rolled a one. It could have been worse. <laughs> yeah. Bob, Curtis, I'd like to move column four into Belladar. One, two. Would you like to scout? We think it's a scout. Um, what do any harm will it? It's only going to cost us one movement. We've got four left, so yeah, let's scout. Scout uh, French column three. Four, five, six. How many units in column three? So we just, how, how many units? So uh, one, two, three, four, six, six units. You want to write that down, you guys. You want to, you Russians, write that down. Column three, six units. You got that, Bob? Yeah. Excellent. That's all we need to do for that turn. Yeah, that's it. Go ahead, French. Okay. Um... Pick a column.
Are you typing, Michael? Yeah, you are. Okay. Yes. What do you think? Ah, no. <laughs> 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 I just keep thinking I must beat the French today. Oh, you must. But... You must. You, you talk about yes. scouting it. No. Use what you're asking. Hey, Curtis, how do we do that? Do we, uh, Are you in the chat? Uh, French chat. Right, one second. Let me get there. <clears throat> See if you guys are talking here. All right, you can't move through. There's no stacking. Them. There's no moving through anyone. Well, you have to wait till the next day for any battle deck. Oh, well, well, damn it, don't announce it. <laughs> I'm just you have don't a tell keyboard. Him. Don't tell him, don't Kurt. Then the Zamis, the mobile kitchen needs has arrived.
All right, you guys, the timer is in force. We have a minute. Charge. Oh, come on, boys. That's really kind of funny. The thought process. What's going on here? Uh, tell you what. We'll do uh, column two. Disregard. Do column one. Okay. We're getting it. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, great. Come on. I'm growing a beard here. <laughs> I'm giving these guys a little slack because Richard ain't here. But uh I mean they're getting some help from Neil, which is good. There's more than one more than two French players involved here. But uh you say just go for it. Whatever you got up your sleeve, go for it. Call him two to Charlie plays two. Huh? Well, back here. You want to go up to here? Yep. Be five right there. Oh shit! That is five. Oh, I was thinking of six. All right. Okay. Russians, columns one, three, and two. Right, well, we need to discuss this then, I think. <laughs> After what happened there, that was a surprise. Um, oh. Interesting. The unexpected. Mm, let me have a think about this. Gain the initiative. We haven't, we haven't moved any of our columns yet, have we? We moved column four. Yeah, we moved column four. That's it. That's all, yeah. Um, Interesting. Hey, gentlemen, I've got to get going, so I'm uh, turning over uh, the command. All right. Oh, good, James. I'll fill you in on the results and as far as preparation for that. Sounds good. All right, my friend. Thanks a lot for joining us. Talk to you later. Take care. Bye. <clears throat> Tough break for the press. I don't know. You, Michael. Again, Michael's in chat here. He's got help coming from other French players. It's just he's the only one representing them at the moment. So it's cool. Okay. All right, Michael. Uh, so, uh, it's, turn. It's, a Russian. Russian. Well, well, it's a Russian turn, but I don't mind. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Column. <laughs> Column three. All right, where are you going? D4. 
One, two. And we're scouting column four. How many units, in terms of numbers of units, is in column four? Column four. What's going on? Wait, I'm what? counting. I'm counting. Five. Do I just tell you just like that? Is it that easy? Yeah. Are you sure there's five? I count four. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, would you like to tell me which is column four then? Which command? In the um, yeah, of course. In the typey typey thing. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. All right, let me think. It might be this. Uh, let's see. One, two. Oh. That would drop it down to four. Okay. All right, is that it? How many units do you have in, in column four, please? Yes, four. Four units in column four. Oh. All right, so you've got one, two, three. You've got three more movement points if you want to continue. No, no, that's if fine. A, if you have a four to one superiority, you can take him out with an overrun. Point that out. I don't know if you do. Um, let, me, let me think, let me think, let me think. Um, no, I think we'll stay. All right. All right, French, your turn. Do you, do you, do you agree, Bob? I think we'll stay. We won't um, overrun it because we don't want to, I don't want to go, to, we don't want to go too far to the west. Yeah, I think we're good there. We're good. <sighs> okay, friends. Yeah. Oh, hang on, I've got a message. Okay, Neil. Uh, yeah, whatever you say. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Column four, please. Um, can you move it toward B1, please? Yeah. All right, it's going to cost you an extra movement point to leave a zone of control. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. No. Yes or no? No, oh, I've done it now. Are you good with that? I'll take it back. Or I'll see. No, that's fine. Uh, that'll do. All right, Russians. All right, just let me have a think on this one. Columns one and two are available for orders. Um, hang on a second, Bob. Yeah. I'm looking. Okay. Um, okay, Bob, I'll get on to you now, I think.
How many units? Hmm. Uh, okay. Okay, we got four. Should be five. Really? Yep. Did you say column one? Yes. You did say column one. It is column one. So. Uh, <sighs> If you say it's five, it's five. One second. Are you, I don't see it. It's five. It's five. All right, five, five. I got you back, Michael. Uh, yeah, and any number I uh, might have mentioned to you earlier, just add one. <laughs> <laughs> There's more of us than you think. Well, it was supposed to be correct, isn't it? I mean, that's what the scout is all about. I mean, what numbers is it? Where was where was four down here? Four was adjacent to three, right? Four was adjacent. So you got whatever I told you there. It's one more than it was there. So let me tell you again. What, well, no. <clears throat> if you wish. No, I don't mind. That's fine. Column four is uh, actually got. No, no, no. Uh, wait a minute, Michael. I'm I'm not asking you that. I'm asking you where was column four because I might have moved them too far. Was it here? It well. Was it here? It was. Yeah, I think he was there, wasn't he? Yes, it was. It was there. Yes, yes, uh, it was there. One, two, three. We're moving out of a zone of control. Yeah. Four, five. And he's run out because he's only got six. Yeah. Yeah, he run out, so he actually would be there. D one. Thanks, Robert and Hesdrubal. Caught that. Put you a little bit farther than I should have. Good luck, buddy. Five units have already started. I can call them. I'm six units. I'm three. Four units. I'm four. Five 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 units. I'm four. Column four has four units, and column one has five units. Is that correct? Uh, yes to the last two. Column three has six. Right. That's okay. All right. That's what I have. Thank you. All right. All right, where are we? Is it the French turn or what? The Russian? I've lost bloody track now. I think it's the Russians. He just moved to this location. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Uh, right, just bear with me then. Um, right, okay, let me just have a quick chat with you. The last move was column one wasn't it russian column one yeah it, it, it just did some scouting yeah yeah because yeah. we scouted didn't we yeah. but since then we backtracked all right so it goes back to the french okay then mm. what's uh what am i being advised now by neil anything <laughs> watch neil neil <laughs> Neil, uh, no, what do I do now? Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll just go to, yeah, we got it. <clears throat> okay, then. Back to the French. Columns three, columns two and four. You get to 
You win this. Two and four. Two and four? Oh, wait a minute. Four just went. Four just moved. One and three. Sorry. One and three. Um, okay, fine. I'm being told to pass, so I'll pass. Okay. You have to pick a unit to pass with. Oh, um, which one to pass with? Let's, huh? let's pass with one then. All right, right. Russians, column two. Column two. Um, he can stay where he is. Yeah, that's the end. So that'll be the end of that day. All right, French, column three. I think I'm holding. All right, you passed. All right, that's the end of day three. We're going into day four. Almost there, folks. One more turn after this. Uh, again, the Russians have initiative. They'll be going first. Is there any battle declarations? Now, what's both roll? Well, both roll a d6 and add your victory point points. Russians, you're going to add five. French, you're going to add two. Five through d6. Right. Russians are rolling five plus d6. French, you're rolling. Two plus D6. Go ahead, Michael. Oh. My six. That'd be 11. All right. That's pretty much foregone conclusion. Now, you can declare a battle. If you yes. don't want to, it goes to the French, and they can declare a battle if they want. Right. Let me just discuss this a minute then, please. Uh, okay, please. Right. Now, if he declines, Michael, to declare this battle... Uh, you can declare a battle if you want, or you can also decline. Right. Well, I'm actually not going to do this on the chat because uh, on the talky talky, chatty chatty, typey typey, because it's uh, it, it's too complicated. What I suggest is we have got column three on d4. We've also got column one on c4. I, I suggest that we declare a battle and it squares C3, C4, D3, D4, E3, and E4 as the battlefield. Agreed. So it's a rectangle of C3 and down two squares and C4 and down two squares. That's the battlefield, yes. So everything in there is frozen, isn't it? Uh, yes. You happy with that, Bob? Yeah, I like that. That's what I was looking at, too before you even suggest we declare it. Excellent. And do we, is All that right. our move? One second, one second. I'm sure you got this right, Ian, but just to double check with everybody. You have a unit that's adjacent to an enemy in this area. Mm -hmm. You also occupy a central section of the battlefield. You have mm -hmm. at least five units in one of these columns, correct? Ye yep. Whoa, shut up, Bob. Be quiet. You need at least five units in one of these columns to declare that. Yeah, we are. We're well covered. This is a legal battle, then. Do you want to declare this? Yes. All right. That means that columns one and three for the Russians are frozen, cannot move this day. Column one for the French is frozen and also cannot move. Every other column that's not in this battlefield can move this turn. You want to get at least adjacent to the battlefield and possibly be reinforcements for the battle, or ideally get onto the battlefield itself. Normal movement rules apply, so let's do that. And uh, Russians, again, you have initiative. You can decide who goes first. Well, I think that goes foregone conclusion. We're going to go first. Yeah. And uh, right, I'll just let you know, Bob. 
well i'll tell you we'll just move um column two into e4 oh yeah that's what i was thinking column two to e4 please Column four, column two to E four, please. Hold on, Bob. Oh, I, I, I know you couldn't hear me. All right, go ahead, Bob. Column two to E4, please. What is it? Two to Column two to E4. Russian. Yeah, right there. Yeah. yeah. Right there. Thank you. It's one, two. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. No, we'll find that. All right, French. Yeah, uh, seems like a good one. Seems like a good idea. Yeah, uh, column two to hello, Kurt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, column two to D three, please. One, two, three, four. Okie dokie. Okay, Russians, you have columns, column four. Yeah, well, one's not going to move anywhere because it's frozen, but four, south, yeah. one square. So to can move to B4. Right. Can we get a green tiddly wink on A4, please? I'm trying a green poker chip. Thank you. Are we sure about that move? I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah, sure about yeah that. We're, we're sure because we've still got uh, more victory points. So that was a bonus, that Northern Town. Yeah. All right, French, you're up next. Yeah, let's... Um... Columns three and four. Yep. Column four, please. Can we go to E, where are we? E3. One, two, three, four. Russians, you are done. Yeah. It's gonna go back to the French. You have one final column, column three, where are you going? Uh, south one, please, to B3. Uh, south, yeah. Cheers. Well. Yeah, that's the battlefield then. You have six movement points, you know. Sorry, they can't actually get on the table, though, can they? No, they can't. You, have, you have six movement points, but all right. You did the right thing. <coughs> All right, and that concludes it. That's it. We've got these two columns coming on as reinforcements from the northern flank of the table edge. And we got the rest of the armies lined up, face off. So this is somewhat straightforward. Uh, it's going to come down to who comes on first on the flank. Pretty interesting. Victory points in favor of the Russians. They have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the French only have two points. So the Russians are going to win this battle if it goes the distance of 30 turns. By default, that's what's going to happen. So the French are going to have to break the Russian army. They're going to win this Also take note that there's no victory points available in this battlefield 
Uh, so again, it's all about one thing. The French have to break the Russians. The only way they can win it. I'm just curious. These French could have taken this victory point up here, and that's worth two points. But, you know, it wouldn't be that much. It it's points. about a battle, isn't it? It's about beating the Russians. At this point, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we got no victory points to speak of, so we have to beat the Russians. So. Look, it's, it's, it's interesting, though, because they can just sit there. They don't have to do anything. Uh, well, yeah. Okay. That's right. I want to move that second column into the position where the French fourth column was. I didn't want that uh, reinforcement hanging over us. At least they're all on the field now. We can see them. They've got to deploy as well. And all we've got to do is sit and defend. James James suggested that column three could have or should have moved to here. And come on, uh, this. That's what he suggested. Now you're going to be coming on French, on a friendly sector, so that all helps you come on sooner. Uh, the same thing with the Russian column; they'll be coming on on a friendly sector, which is this one. Basically, that edge and this edge. So that'll we'll bring your enforcements a little earlier. Uh, so there it is, folks. Uh, that's the battle. Well, James just said I mean C4. C4. Oh, A4. Yeah, I was looking at that too, James. Up here. Could have taken that. Like Michael says, it's the Russians still have the advantage in points. Two, three, four against two, three, four, five. They still have the advantage. And there's no objectives up for grabs in the battlefield. It's straight up. Uh, that's it. So it wouldn't have mattered. Battle of Smoleski. Looks like it will be brutal. Yeah, I'm liking this. It's pretty straightforward. Has Drupal. All right, guys. So, what do you think? Enjoy that. Yeah, good. Well, it looks like it'll shape up into a good game, and um, see you tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah. See you tomorrow night. Okay. Sure thing, sure thing Michael. I'm going to post pictures in the tabletop commanders of the battlefield, uh, and then you guys are going to have to do your deployments. For each of your core, uh, basically, each player that's in command of their units will deploy separately from each other. So tell me how you want them deployed secretly in the chat, and I'll have everything set up prior to the battle. Uh, I'll lay out all the terrain, of course. So there you go. I'll make it interesting. Use the rules like they are, but I'll make it interesting, challenging. <clears throat> Does okay. the river delay the Russian flank reserve? It's a minor river, so it's not going to prevent it. Uh, it's going to be there. I mean, once they move on to the table and they have to cross that thing, yeah, it could be an issue, the minor river. Yeah, we're not so worried about that. Uh, we're, not, we're not worried about that at all. All right, thanks, then, Kurt. Thanks, students. So I'll say good night now. All Bye right, now. Take care, my friends. Cheers. All right, Michael. See you, buddy. Well, I say it, I'll, get, I'll say it again. Neil's bringing up the fact that there's a minor river here. Uh, it's not going to prevent or delay the reserves from coming on, but like I said, it will be present on the battlefield and on this flank area. So when the reinforcements do arrive, it could actually slow them down if, and it's most likely, they have to cross it. That would be about it. So it'll be something reflected on the tabletop itself in the game. Yeah. As opposed to modifying the uh, bringing on of reserves. <clears throat> Unless I've totally forgotten something. James says, good work, gents. Yeah, it was pretty good fun. You guys, the French players, hats off to you. You did your best without Richard, who's playing Napoleon tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see how happy he is about this setup. <laughs> well, it's, it's even Steve, isn't it? We've all got... We've 
both sides have got three co on the yeah. uh, three columns at least on three columns on the uh, table. It all with comes one, down with, with one with another column ready in re so you couldn't get it any better than that because no no columns are wasted. Every column potentially it can get involved in the battle. Turn my camera on here. You guys in the chat, what do you think? You enjoy that? I did screw up with the one uh, French unit moving. Those guys caught it, though. I moved it an extra square, and I shouldn't. <clears throat> Not that it mattered too much. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, it's going to come down to what is in each of those columns. That's going to be the real interesting thing. Uh, if we look at the terrain involved, I think we have some marshy ground there in the east. There is a road. And there's uh, in the south, we got a large hill and woods. We've got some marshes on the eastern, northern part. Cloud field, and I think that's a small wood in the center going to the west. So there's quite a bit of terrain. And there'll probably be more minor pieces of terrain as well scattered in. Uh, hmm. French are going to have to cross some marshes, I think. Uh, should be interesting. Some high ground in the south. Hmm, interesting. Oh, yeah, you know what? That river in the north, it's there, but there's also a road crossing it. There is a bridge. Yeah. It's going to be a crucial part of that flank. So you'll get those troops across in no time at all unless they push heavy uh, with column one and try and push you out of that sector entirely. That could happen. That's going to be interesting. <clears throat> oh, my God. I know what's in these columns, and I can tell you right now. <clears throat> what a matchup. Let's see. Column two against column three. Column two, where are you? Uh-huh. Going against column three. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I know, but I explained why I did that. Uh, another square, because I wanted all his forces on the table. I didn't want to be looking over my shoulder, waiting for reinforcements. That's why I did move into there. I did consider it, Bob, but... No, I decided I wanted all these forces who could be on the table, apart from that third column, on the table. In front, it's up to him to come and attack us and defeat us. Yeah. I don't want I don't want to be looking over my shoulder every time we get to 10, 5, 10 or whatever it is, and they come marching on. So that's why I did it that way. And... Uh... Yeah, we'll also go through the recon forces. They will be here in this battle as well. We'll see how much fatigue they take. We'll I'll figure all this out tonight. And uh, by tomorrow, I'll have all the pictures posted and all the results. And you guys just need to focus on uh, how each of these columns are deployed in their sectors, you know, in relation to each other. Um, and I, 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 I prefer if each player who controls those columns uh, actually deploys their models separately from each other. <clears throat> be more interesting. As opposed to like just uh, Bob and Richard deploying everything. Yeah, well, that's what I think it should be. Whoever's playing that, whatever, whatever core he is playing, he should, he should deploy those cores. Right. And, and so on. Absolutely. But I mean, what would be the use of that even controlling anything if I'm going to sit here and say, oh, well, they'll do, you know. You got it. 
I mean, I, I know I can do that, but I'm not going to. <clears throat> All right, folks. So I'm going to post pictures of this map to the group so you guys can have it and study it and uh, base your deployments around that. Well, actually, I'll set up the table and then you can tell me how they're deployed. So basically, the armies have found each other. They've put in their final movements. The, re the reinforcements are on their way. Both sides have encamped for the night, studying their dispositions and preparing their initial orders uh, for the morning. And in the morning, we'll see what this battlefield actually looks like, and what the troops look like arrayed against one another. Uh, and we'll start the actual fight. And hopefully, all our players will be here in attendance again for some massive die rolling. And the timer will be broken out. You can see right away we need a timer. <laughs> okay, folks, I'm going to take this off live so it won't be so long. And those who missed it can watch it later. Uh, link remains, though, if you want to jump in real quick. We'll probably be out here another 30 minutes or so. So there you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Leave comments. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. On the same time, Eastern Standard Time, 2 o'clock, right around there. See you then, folks. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye, all. Ta-ta. Tally-ho.